guys so today I've got uh, another delivery come um, it's my water heater from Bolly Vans so what we're gonna do this morning is I'm gonna start putting that together and then connect it up to the solar power and the heating so with the diesel heater I've got a small problem with that at the moment in the fact that I got it all put in um, I had it running for about half an hour or so and then it came up with a fault it came up with an E7 fault, saying that it was losing communication between the controller and the heater. So I checked all the wiring, all the wiring was okay. After research on the internet, I found that it was uh, to be the motherboard. So what I've gone and done is I've ordered myself a new motherboard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait until that comes to fit that. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to start putting together this Bolly van heater. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I've got the instructions here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the instructions and start, on it, start putting it together from this. Uh, the instructions look quite simple uh, to follow. So we'll go ahead and find out how that goes. Yeah. So the first thing it's asking us to do is to take the tank out and put the tank fittings on. So I'm just going to get the tank out of the box. Right guys, so we've got the tank here. So let's go ahead with the first bit of the instructions. So the first bit of the instructions is basically telling me to uh, fit these water pressure things on here. So I'm going to have a look in the box of fittings and see what it's come with. So we can see how we're going to fit them so look at this we've got our cold water in and hot water out and we've got our temperature control here so let's go ahead now and fit these uh, fittings that it's asked us to fit so there should be two barb fittings in the tank for the tank so I'm just going to grab the box of fittings There's one box Here's the other box, so let's see what we got in here. A few bits here. Okay, so this box here is the heat exchange for the diesel heater, so we don't need that one at the moment. Alright, uh, we got a, another box here of bits. Uh, oh, we got a little bubble vet. Bubble van sticker. I oh, will stick that on the van. Um, and they've, they've also gave us a little packet of Haribos that come in nicely for tea break. So let's have a look, see if we can find these barbed fittings. Uh, there's a bag, bag of them here, so I assume it's these ones. So there should be two of these by the looks of it. One, two, three, there's four in the bag. Um, so what it's actually asking us to do is put one on the red. They all look like the same size. Yeah, they're all the same size. And they just come with these little uh, seals here, these rubber seals. So we've got to put one of these on there and put one on the hot tank. Sorry, on the hot outlet. So let's just take this plastic cover off to protect it. Throw that in the bin because we're not going to need that now. So we have to put one of them on here, like so. Uh, and it says screw on the bar fitting into the brass fitting to connect to the 
part of uh, using the 15mm push fit and hand tighten the brass fittings and then apply a quarter of a turn with a spanner so we want to put that on get ourselves a little adjustable or a spanner and give that a quarter of a turn so I'm just going to go and grab myself a spanner right so I've just gone and got my little toolbox so I've got to get myself a little adjustable We've got our adjustable now and it says give it a quarter of a turn but do not over tighten. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going a little bit more of a quarter of a turn because I can feel that wants to go quite a bit. But I won't over tighten like it says. Right, that feels good enough to me. So that's the, the barb fitting on the hot. So on the cold, we've got this uh, little switch here, this valve that has to go on. Right, so this is your cold water one, and this is for uh, what looks like it's going to be a little drain. That comes off here so if you need to enter the tank drain the tank out for winter or anything stop it from freezing you can go ahead and drain the tank out through this so we'll just go ahead and stick this one on the cold water this one's already got a, a little uh, washer inside it so we'll just go ahead and do this one Again, this one feels quite tightish, but I want to go a little bit tighter so I can get the angle. Right, I don't want to, that's quite tight, I don't want to go any further than that. The angle of the tap is a little bit, a bit skew with, but I can live with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as it is, because I don't want to go ahead and over tighten and break it. So I'm just going to leave that one as it is. Uh, we've got a little silicon hose which we can drill a hole in the floor and put this to the outside. So that is our drain pipe. So we've got that one on there now and for the cold. So it now says to put another barb on onto here with one of the uh, washers. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Which I assume is this one because it's got a different type. So we'll just go ahead now and fit this barbed fit in. Again, that's just hand tight. And I'm just going to nip it up a little bit with the adjustable. Okay, I'm happy with that. The next stage it says to assemble the pump. So we're just going to push that to one side for a minute and we're going to find the pump and start uh, putting together the pump. So here we go, we've got the little pump here which circulates the water around the, uh, the heater. So for this it says to use the 10mm uh, pipe. Assemble the pump using the clamps as shown the larger T pieces goes on the larger 10mm outer diameter. Note the silver clip on the outlet of the pump. Right, okay. So we've got a one way valve we've got to put on this and a piece of silicon hose. So let's go ahead and get that. So we want one of these little plastic one way valves. some of these clips. I guess it's this piece here. Yeah, 
So we need this. It should be a large clip. Which is here. And a smaller clip. And we've also got silver one here. So in our box we should have a, a plastic fitting somewhere. Okay, it's a brass fitting, not plastic. So we got one size of 10 mil for this pipe, which we push into here. And we use one of these larger clips. Just use a pair of pliers to open this clip down the line a bit. Okay. So we put this uh, brass freeway connector in. We've got the large section and two small sections. So the large section goes into this pipe. And then we connect that with the clip. Okay, that clip's on there. So now we need another clip for the other end. And that pushes onto the larger outlet of the pump. We go ahead and push that pipe clamp up. Okay. So that's the 10 mil pipe on, with both clamps on either side, three way fitting up one end and connected to the pump. So the next thing it's asking for is to put on the one way valve with a small section of the pipe that's in here, a small section of this pipe here. So we just want to go and cut a little piece of this off. We don't need a lot. So we just want a small piece. We might just use a pair of scissors for that. So probably no, uh, what's it saying on here? It doesn't actually tell you how much to use, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use a, a little piece like so. Let's get this pipe out of the way. So So to use the silver clip on the pump side. So I need to squash that one down again. So this goes on here. It says put the silver clip on the pump side. Like so. Yeah, so now that's on. It says to now use a small black clip, which we've got in here, which is very small, I don't know how that's going to fit. And we're to use the non return valve, which is here, this little black foot this little uh, white plastic thing and on the side of there it has an arrow on it to show you which way to go so we want the arrow pointing upwards I'll, I'll just get this clip put on there first I can't 
not see how that clip's going to fit. That's too small. I can't see that fitting. I wonder if they mean one of these. That clip's tiny. Um, I think this tiny, real small one, I got a feeling, is going to be for your water drain. I'm dropping clips everywhere here. Um, let me just pick up some of these clips I've just dropped. Right, we've got a whole bag full of clips, so we're just going to use one of them. So we want to get the arrow on this non-return valve facing upwards. Uh, let's see if we can see it. There it is. Right, so that goes in like so. Let me pull the clip up. Okay, so that's that part done. So let's flick over a page in the book and see what we want to do next. Okay, so the next thing it's asking us to do is build up one of the isolation valves. So before I do that, I've got to try out some of their freebies on the Haribos. Thank you, Bubble Van. They're very nice. Or Bubble Van. So is it Bubble Van or is it Bubble Van? I think it's Bubble Van. So, anyway, let's go ahead and do one of these non-return valves. Uh, sorry, uh, we've done inlet isolation hose is what we've got to do. So, we've got one of these taps. We supply you with three of them, so we go ahead with that. So, what it says we need to do is get a piece of five centimetre pipe. So, I'm going to have to get my ruler out for this one. So, it's saying we need about 5 centimetres of this uh, bit of pipe. So, uh, on both sides. So, 10 centimetres in total. So, we, that's roughly about 50 mil. So, we cut off uh, two pieces of 50 mil of this pipe. pair of scissors roughly about there oh. so we need two pieces of uh, that five centimeters 50 mil So, we've got our two pieces of rubber pipe now. So, we want two clips. Start off with. Go on one piece of the pipe. Go 
Alright, there's one on there. There's two on there. So, you put one, one on to here. it so that's one side the clamp on so on the other side of this we want to put a non-return valve which is here and we want that the arrow on this facing away from the tap So that's that bit done. Um, now we need to put another piece of pipe on the non-return valve. Okay, so that's done. And then we want to put the brass freeway onto that. Okay, so that's that done. So that's the next job done. It's all nice and secure. So the next job it wants us to do is to put together the heat exchanger. So we'll go ahead and do that next. So here's our heat exchanger. It's basically just a, a big radiator. Well, I won't say big, it's just basically a radiator. So that's where your water goes through, your diesel heater is heat, heating this up, which heats the water. So let's go ahead and put that together. So it comes with a bag of fittings for this one. So looking at the drawing like this, was it like this? Like this. Yep. So, looking at it like this, we want one of these on the top. Here. So it says just to hand tighten these, so that's all we're going to do is we're just going to hand tighten these. Yeah, so we want one there, take these blank caps out, and we want one in the opposite side. So we're just hand tighten them. I'll go ahead and show you that. There we go. So we've got one here and one here. So inside them, now we have to fit these barbed ones, which we just put in here. So we put one there, one there, and we'll just get the adjustment and we'll give that a little nip up. We don't have to over tighten these, just give them a little quarter of a turn, or just until you think it's... Uh, tight enough you can see when it's tight enough because you can just see the rubber o-ring just disappear inside okay that's tight enough for that so what it's saying now is we want to put a barbed in here 
one of these, go straight into this one. We'll just nip that up. Yep. And one on the other side in the opposite corner. that in. So next it's saying in this one is the two blank fittings that we took out the top we got to put in here. So we put one in this side and one on the opposite side. Again they only need to be hand tight. Okay so this system as well this little radiator at the bottom here we also have a drain kit to fit. So I'll just go ahead and fit that now. Just threw the bits on the floor. So I have two holes on the bottom and each one of these needs a drain tap put on. So to do that, we got these fittings again, the same as like on the top. So they just have to go in hand tight. Two. And it's on them we have these two barbs that have to be fitted. One. There's two. I'll we'll just knit them barbs up with a spanner. So that's them. So here's our two taps. So we need a piece of pipe between them again. So I'm not going to go very large with the pipe. Okay, that's my two drain pipes now fitted onto it. So next stage, it's telling me that we need to put the uh, covers that go over it. So let me just find them. So we've got these little covers that go on it now. So it goes this way round 
and then on there. So we need to drill a four mil hole in here. Now let me just find a four mil drill bit. Okay, so we've got to drill a four mil hole in here. Okay, so that's the four mil hole drill bit done. So we need to get one of these gaskets and some of these screws. So from what I saw on the YouTube video is it's best to put the screws in and the gasket in together. So basically you put the gasket over and then push your screws in. Just so it holds the gasket in place. Yeah, then you get your screws and put the blast. Then we screw it to the heat exchanger. No need to go too tight on these, just nip them up, otherwise you end up cracking the plastics, which is something that we really don't want to do. Okay, it's that one on, and we do the same for the other side. Except for the other side, we don't have to drill the hole. Okay, that's that done. So let's go ahead and show you that. So that's the covers done, where your ducting goes on to either side. Valves are all in. Sorry, your, your water connectors are all in. Uh, your drain plugs are in. Um, so let's move on to see what wants us to do next. Okay, so the next thing it wants us to do is to start building the diverter up. So I'm going to put this to one side for a minute. And in this box, we have all the parts for the diverter. So let's get these out. So it's just bits of plastic. Uh, some Jubilee clips. A gate of some sort and a lever. So, let's have a look at this. So, the gate, I'm guessing, just goes in here. Possibly. Yeah, uh, and I guess this one goes on top. Yep. Okay, and I guess this clutch arm of some sort then fits on it, that one here. So, yeah, so this just diverts the, uh, the gate inside. It's quite get difficult to put this together. It doesn't seem to clip together and stay together. I 
this one's got the Jubilee clips around it, it will stay together. So anyway, that's that, that's the little gate there, I don't know if you can see that inside. Inside there, there's a little gate that just moves around. Not sure if you can see that very well. Um, I'll try and move that around. So that's that together. So next, so next we want another piece of this rubber hose. Doesn't have to be a great big piece. Uh, we'll just go with that. Just a small piece, not very big. Um, that then connects to this barb here. So, put a clip on that. Yep, then we want another clip on there. And the other end of that, we need to put on this. Yep, so now that looks like that. So on his, this side is, we've got to fit the, the John Guest to fit in. So at the moment I'm still waiting for that to come through the post. So while we're waiting for that, we'll just move on to the next stage. So we want another piece of pipe again. to another one of these barbs. Then we want another clip. Go on like that. And then from the pump Want to put one of these on with a clip. So that's like that. So what happens on here, we get a piece that comes out of here and goes to the hot water, like so. And then out of here goes our John Guest fitting, which then connects to my water pipes. So I'm just gonna go and put that together now on there. So to do that, we need another piece of pipe.
So guys, now that's all together, our next job is to put it in place where I'm going to put it, which is under the bench seat that I'm sitting on. So I'm just going to go ahead now, clean up this area, take the lid off the bench seat and put this in place. So I'll catch you in a sec. So guys, my next job now is to put the uh, heater in its place and get that all screwed down and piped up in place. Um, so let me go ahead and start doing that now.